Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm back with another favorites video. Today I want to focus on a lot of beauty items and a lot of fashion that I'm loving for the springtime, the summertime, my makeup favorites, my hair. So many things that I cannot wait to talk about. I also have like baby clothes that I'm loving, just so many random things. So everything will be linked down below. Also follow me on my new Instagram if you haven't already. I did lose my other accounts. I would love if y'all would follow me there if you were following me there before or if you want to start keeping up with me now and yeah I think that's everything I have to say let's get into it hard to tell because I'm wearing a pullover but I'm wearing the cutest exercise dress of all time I'm obsessed with it I saw it on a TikTok I went to get it it was a hundred and eight dollars and I I treated myself y'all like it's so pretty but I was fully convinced it wasn't gonna fit me I wasn't gonna like it boy was I wrong if it's perfectly I'm 4'11 I feel like it hits where it needs to hit I don't have to wear a bra with it it has shorts with pockets on the inside like built in I'm obsessed with it is it worth $108 probably not but I just couldn't resist and I had to show y'all I'm wearing it under the sweatshirt but when I went to order that one this one was suggested to me and I've been loving this Bottega green color as I like to call it it's a complete different style of tennis workout dress but I really do like this one I don't know if it's as flattering as the other one because it has stitching all throughout the waist <laughs> half the price and honestly I'm so over the Abercrombie dresses this is the most affordable this is from H&M it has matching shorts underneath and I love how flattering the skirt is because it flares out it has a little cutout the shorts match it it has a pocket here a pocket here I'm wearing a size small I tried the extra small it was way too tight and it's just so flattering it's $34 but almost always on weekends they're 20% off look at her isn't she stunning when I saw that this was an option for me to get I ran this color is so beautiful so classic and i just feel like it went so perfectly with the style of this bag but i do have a story time the other day i was at my friend's house it was her husband's 30th birthday she brought this bag and she just said like hey just put it on the bench where everyone left theirs and i swear to god there was one of these bags you know the ones that are like 13k on that same bench it was a little bit bigger and it was a different color like the first thing that came out of allison's mouth was like oh my god because this was not thirteen thousand dollars by any means it's a mini size not the small and it fits everything i would need for a night out or a brunch without olivia of course because this is too small for a mom but i love it it has the little legs it has the crossbody strap and it's just such a beautiful bag i am so so happy i got it and i'm so happy i got it in the size and color i think it's just perfect i was fully convinced these were overhyped i almost put them in my uninfluence because i had only ever tried their very first lip product but y'all these are so pretty they are lip balms and i got the tinted ones this is the vanilla beige i guess i'll swatch that one on my lips and they improve the packaging that's so pretty like the perfect little wash of color and then this one is a little darker for my skin tone but it could be perfect for you if you're darker than me i'm just gonna put it on top they're so smooth and pretty and they really linger and wash out or like fade in such a pretty way i'm obsessed i'm like not wearing any makeup and they look so good so i had to recommend sorry i'm a little sick i am loving these model of duty athletic hats and i say athletic like very loosely sometimes i have little tennis rackets or stuff like that just really loving like the preppy rhode island vibes <laughs> fashion this year so h&m has so many options they have all sorts of colors they have logos one says like athletic club or something 
$15. This hat was literally like $15. I have it in two colors. I have it in this brown and a lighter kind of khaki color. Goes with everything. They have been my go-to. I don't know. I'm just loving hats like this at the moment. For my best friend's birthday, I knew I wanted to get her a customized tote and I found an Etsy shop that does them. On TikTok, the very popular ones are by LL Bean and they're so cute. I almost ordered, but you can only do, I think, eight letters like max and I wanted something a little longer. So this is what mine says it's totally a joke but i love it so much since it's like a matching one mine says mom era and her says um auntie era i love it so so much it fits like a ton of things i took olivia to the dentist today but yeah i'm loving it so i wanted to recommend it very much gives that like preppy on my way to play tennis look okay a lot of you have been complimenting my makeup which makes me feel real good so i wanted to run through like real quick my base like what i've been using to make my skin look kind of like flawless and glowy i think this is linked on my like to know it i've been using the curology moisturizer because i got it like on super sale at target i didn't realize how much i missed this moisturizer i used to have so many of them when i worked with curology back in 2020 and then i ran out i just started using others nothing will ever compare and the best part i'm not gonna waste it but it has that little packaging like drunk elephant where you like pump it out incredible incredible if you haven't tried it and you have dry skin i highly recommend it's what i'm wearing under all this makeup then elf my lover ew i'm never gonna refer to a makeup brand like that but i love elf they came out with a dupe for super goop 10 times better i think the super goop one is too oily and i have dry skin below 30 spf and it leaves such a nice natural and not glittery dewy base but this is what's been making the biggest difference this is the la roche posay cicaplast balm b5 i don't know like i think this is supposed to be for like cracked very very dry skin i've been wearing it as a primer because i used to get really bad dry patches around my nose even like on my forehead no matter what primer i use foundation i've had this foundation for years maybelline dewy and smooth fit me five dollars on amazon what i've been doing every single time i film and i feel like it's easy it's glowy it's perfect for the spring and summer and it really lasts me all day so pretty happy with it so thank you guys so much for complimenting it i feel like this really matches the wallpaper behind me i got this from h&m out of all places and it's not like a dupe by any means it's actually like a nice tote bag but it gives me all the dior vibes it's so nice it's actually embroidered all throughout like the whole design is embroidered this like beige with the hot pink is so very me and i thought it would be nice to have like a more affordable tote bag for the beach or the pool or like a vacation where i don't want to like bring any like designer things and i thought this was such a good option they also have more neutral ones i will die on this hill that h&m is like the best thing that's ever happened to my closet because i can get so many beautiful basics so many fun accessories and fun pieces for a quarter of the price of like what even sara would be so if you're not chopping chopping <laughs> english if you're not shopping at h&m you are truly missing out but i will link it i don't know if this one is still available but there's so many other designs listen girlies i <sighs> i feel like i will spend so much money on clothes for olivia that she'll probably wear like realistically like five times but i refuse to spend <laughs> that money on myself like the guilt that i have for spending 108 dollars on one tennis dress when this was like triple that but anyway digressing um digressing i don't think that's a word i wanted to show y'all the cutest clothes for olivia from zara they're not cheap by any means this is basically the point i'm trying to make but i'm obsessed i cannot shut up about them look at this cutie dress for her christening brunch baptism i don't know if it's the same thing um this knit romper that i could use on my size because i would wear this every day if i could um this butterfly dress with the cutest little sleeves 
I can't, I cannot. This set, hot pink, of course. Crochet shorts. Crochet top. How dare you, Sarah, do this to me? Another little crochet knit romper that I would also wear every day if I could. And then this little knit set that I absolutely need in my size. Look at the pants. Like, I was filming a TikTok unboxing and I was like, where are we going, Olivia? Where should we go so you can wear all this? Grease, maybe? I'm obsessed. I am truly obsessed with Sarah Kids, but I was debating when I placed that order. I was like, oh, should I get myself this pink shirt from Sarah? It was $15. No. The mom logic is not there. I deem 2023 the year of hair. So these are the hair products that I've invested in, that I've been trying. And I want to give you guys a very honest review of my experience with all of these. I've had these for a long time, so I have a pretty good understanding if I like them or not. Um, so for shampoo and conditioner every day, I've been using these from Briogeo. I actually found them at Marshalls for probably like $20 less. And recently I found the mango and cherry, but Brio Geo is a really good hair brand that's very clean and has no additives or silicone. So I wanted to make sure I was putting good stuff into my hair that was actually going to make a difference. I also got this Don't Despair Repair mask. I haven't noticed much of a difference with this one, but I don't leave it on for too long. So I definitely need to give it a better shot. For deep conditioning, I've been doing this from Amazon. Honestly, once again, I haven't noticed a huge difference. My hair doesn't feel softer or less frizzy or anything like that. And then I was influenced by TikTok to buy this one. Um, this is another hair mask and it's very nice and thick. It makes my hair immediately feel softer, which means that it definitely has silicones and it's not an actual, it's just like a coating more than deeply hydrating my strands. So this won't be a repurchase for me. Um, I've barely been using it at this point, but it does leave my hair feeling pretty nice, which is sad. And then for my scalp issues, I wanted to try something that won't clog my pores, like my hair follicles and all that. I've been trying this one. I'm not obsessed with it by any means, but I've been using this if I feel like it has a lot of buildup or I use a lot of product or I didn't wash it for a little bit. Same with this scalp scrub, not my favorite. Wouldn't repurchase, only got it because it was on sale. It smells good, it's just really hard to get in there and it doesn't do much. Um, this though is amazing. This is like a pre-shower treatment. It feels like an oil, but it foams up. I get it from Amazon. Really, really good for like balancing your scalp if you have oily scalp but dry ends you could try that i've also been using this as a pre-shower treatment i never leave it on for too long so maybe i do need to but it makes me nervous um and then instead of dyeing my hair i haven't touched hair dye since october i've been using these color depositing mask and this gloss both from amazon they're great if you want to achieve any sort of color without dyeing it or to maintain your color i do the copper but they have every single color you can think of if i feel like my hair is looking a little too dull if i need to brighten it up a bit i use this line that i bought back when i was blonde and it really helps to maintain my hair like a little bit fresher and lighter and then from that same brand i found this moisture recovery shampoo once again if i'm doing a little too much clarifying and scrubbing I just use this one to bring my hair back to life and I'll have everything linked down below. So guys, that's everything for today's video and I'll talk to you guys very soon in my next video.